Welcome to Paper and Moose. It is adventure day. I'm heading out to Chester Springs, Pennsylvania. Um, a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, Tucker Upper on his channel put out a great video of Dufour Editions book publishing company, uh, Duncan who runs the book publishing business with his father, was a lifelong friend of Tucker. And his business, unfortunately, is going out of business. So they invited Tucker and Sammy out. They did a great video of the home on the property, the, the book business, what they have left, and items that are for sale. Items that are for sale include ephemera and old newspapers, my favorite. So I'm venturing out there to see what I can purchase see what else is there and bring some paper back home. So let's get out there, see what we can find. It's mostly ephemera, right? That's, yes. Yeah. Oh, here they are. No books? There they are. Well, I like old books too. That's <laughs> trouble. <laughs> Oh, look at that yeah, one. mostly Chester County newspapers from um, the early decades. They're so nice. Yeah. Some are, some are in better shape. Yeah, but still, the history. I I like to do a lot of research. Oh, look yeah, at that. How I love pretty. The ads. Yes, yeah. just the ads alone. Complete funerals, $5. <laughs> yeah. Men might as Sunday well, morning. Might as well look through it myself while I still Sunday have the chance. Sunday morning, November 23rd, 1913. I mean, look at the advertisements. Oh, like, you, can't, you can't beat that. Uh-huh. A table, 848 for a table. Jeez. <laughs> Thanksgiving special. 88 note player p Oh, $285. That was a lot of money. Back then, yeah. Oh, be your own dentist. Fill your there own you tooth. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Fill your own tooth. Why not? Be your own dentist. I found an advertisement. They said, oh, is it painless? No cocaine used. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. They're so neat. Do yourself brain surgery. Oh, God. I wouldn't be surprised. This room in a couple of years. 1864. I think it's an arithmetic book. Oh, yeah. It looks like it. Written arithmetic. Oh, yeah. With their own... Boston, 1864. How much has the turnabout here? Um, Those are fun. Yeah, yeah. Do you even use yeah. that math today? <laughs> they, they, they had to know a lot. Back oh, then. I know. Back yeah. then they, they did. They really had to know their stuff. Um, that looks like it's probably one of the older, older ones. ones here. Yeah, just just looking at the bottom edges. <laughs> Oh, this is probably that's probably yeah. late 1800s. Yeah, we all grew up. We all grew up. Longfellow. Oh, oh. No, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm keeping that. That was my grandfather's. Oh yes, yeah, okay. please. Yeah. You should take your time and go through these. Oh yeah, I should. I should. You never I know should. what you're gonna find. Yeah, yeah. Oh, those are nice when it has the the that, coloring on the edges. I think this is the yeah the I think the duckled edge. I think. This used to be where some of the rarer books were kept. Mm -hmm. there. The New Practical Reference Library, A3. This was an encyclopedia. Oh, I don't like that anymore. From 1907. Oh, with all the plates and everything? Yeah. Uh -huh. Those are fun. Um, I mean, there were some of the rarer things were up, up, were up here, some of the collectibles. But yeah, we'll we'll sell them. Yeah, yep. Great, mm hmm yeah. No, that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah, that's 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 what we've been doing. Yep. It's just me and we know yeah. for a listing and yeah. rating and everything. So what's left is the um, the good stuff. I, I do <laughs> sort of have values on that already. Oh, okay. Up to you and me, we're gonna stage the uh, the books we're gonna photograph. So they're on here. Um, also, let's see. It's the oh, gosh! So that's ancient history 1872 Godfrey's Ladies book. So 
This does have some Those illustrations in it. That's pretty. I don't know. I don't know how frequent they were. I guess we can page through it a little. Oh. Those are neat. Oh, a letter key. Look at that. So most nice. most of these are listed for over a hundred bucks. Oh, online. okay. And they're like a hundred fifty oh, to a hundred seventy. We'd let it go for less than that just to get them out of yeah. here. But look how nice. Hmm. But you know, pretty pretty heavy, heavily illustrated yeah. throughout. Oh, there's that is yeah. Pretty. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, that's nice. Life on the farm. Oh, it folds out. The lollipop party. <laughs> hmm. Oh wow. So then what would you want for this? Um maybe 80 80 mm -hmm. bucks I think would be a fair price for it. She'd probably be able to resell it to the right person for double that. That's nice. Alphabet for marking. Oh, I have seen those before. Some of those used to be also in um they would put them in inserts in other magazines cuz that looks familiar. That's nice. That's Even in spite of that, um, it's it's a oh, okay. It's a children's book, mm -hmm. and um, I guess this one just for just because of the illustrations. Even though the the book it's is in bad. bad shape, the illustrations are so good, and it's a relatively rare item. So, um, so newer, newer copies of this in a little better shape also sell or are listed for, um, you know, maybe a hundred, mm -hmm. 120 bucks. This because of the shape, you can yeah. see the binding so shot it's may, still low. would be, I don't know, maybe like 35 or 40 for it, we'd ask. So I did end up buying the whole stack of paper from Duncan. I think that was obvious that I was going to buy it. There were some books that he had as well, which I really liked, but I passed on them. I also bought some of the maps and posters, but you can just look, I mean, even on here, just the old ads. Some of the papers are in some of them are in better shape than others the colors on this dimples she trades for a slingshot and uses it to stat oh, I can't even talk disastrously but the colors are still really cute cute really nice man it's been a long day here's a whole nother one the Philadelphia record comic section peach of a shot Look, I'm inside. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Tom Scratch. The Adventures of Tom Scratch. Tom gets a job as errand boy, but is beguiled by craps game. Look at how cute. Even the colors. Oh my gosh. The Love Affair of Fred and Flora. That looks interesting. This one was neat. It's another comic section. Let me move these over. This one, obviously, this has seen better days, but I liked the brushes at the top. They have faces on them. She's wearing a bodice? She's like five years old. <laughs> Let's see what's on. The end. Oh, look how cute that, oh, it's more of this. The cat. 
He's fun. And the, so yeah, they ran the same comics. These are really neat. Look at this guy. Young Justice Hoover. I know the lighting isn't the best in here, but I thought I would just show you now. I most likely will take snapshots of the papers, do some research, some of the more interesting articles that I find, the latest fashions, dance frocks. Look how pretty that is. Skirt of satin. Summertime frills. Let's open it up. Oh, there's nothing. Oh, there's some inside. The embarrassing affliction. A red nose. Oh, I know how hard that is. To stimulate and darken the brows. Grease. Oh, grease the brows. Make a mixture of a dram of red Vaseline and one grain of sulfate of quinine. <laughs> this is put on night and morning. Oh, boy. I don't even want to know. Gigantic bankrupt shoe sale. Shoes for every member of the family, one dollar. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine getting these kind of shoes for a dollar? I came back with the stack of newspapers and some of the posters and maps. It was fun. It was neat to be able to go even look at the old building and just see some glimpses of the inner workings of a, a, a book company. I wish Duncan and his dad the best of luck, whatever they may be doing next. They still have some, a lot of things they have to get, you know, sell, get rid of, find homes for, but they seem to be on the right track. I think with the video that Tucker and Sammy made, it, it brought some people together and he was able to sell some items. So that, that's always a good thing. And we got to see into you know, the insides of a, a book production company, which sadly is going out of business. But I think by them being able to sell off some things, you know, their, their memory is still going to last. So I have more days, weeks of looking through the newspapers, seeing what interesting articles there are in there and then sharing them with you as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure I'm going to find some neat advertisement that will just lead me down a rabbit hole of historical research and I'll let you know what I find. So hope you enjoyed this adventure and stay tuned for more episodes with Paper and Moose. You never know what, what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna go, what I'm going to find. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and see you all next time. Mm -hmm.